your job as the Playboy Bunny, you line up with a hundred other gorgeous women. Then you change into something skimpy and put on a pair of high heels. Hmm. And while you're waiting for your turn to be interviewed, you try not to stare at all these other women who are gorgeous and confident. And by the time it's your turn to be interviewed by the bunny mother, honest to goodness, that's what they call her, your self-esteem is in the toilet. You have to stand there while she looks you over and then she asks you your name and you have to remember to what your whole name is without using any notes. That's the first <laughs> part of this interview process. And then she asks you to do a 360, so you have to turn in a whole circle without falling off your heels. And then she asks you one question, and that is, what makes you think you'd be a good Playboy Bunny? And I said, without a moment's hesitation, look, I'm smart, I'm pretty, and I know how to make men smile. And of course, I got the job. And the deal was that really I was only going to stay the summer, make some money, figure out what I was going to do, and then eat the, eat the humble pie and go back to school like my mom wanted me to. But it turns out that I was really, really good at being walking pornography. I was so good that they put me in charge of training other girls how to do what I did. They sent me on recruiting trips, and they put me in the magazine four times, and... I was just the poster child for Playboy. And while I was there working, I, um, I attracted the attention of one of the more nefarious, dangerous characters on the edges of that community. In any creepy environment, there are those who participate, those who watch, those who lurk, and those who keep the peace.